Welcome to MK Tech. I will show you how you can make a 12 to 220 volts inverter with an output frequency of 50 or 60 hertz based on the IRFZ44 MOSFET and the 5 timer driver IC. So the 5 timer is a very common timing IC which can generate square wave output passes. In this case, these signals will be used to drive these two power MOSFETs to drive this uh, this inverter transformer. So the connections is as shown here. At the input, you have 12 volts. You also need a stabilization capacitor, 4800 microfarads, written at 316 volts. So this is pin 8 is connected to the 12 volts. Ground pin goes to ground. The timing capacitor pin 2 is connected across the ground and pin 6. You also need a 1 kilo, 10 kilo resistor across VCC pin and the distance pin 7 and a trimmer resistor across pin 7 and pin 6. This allows you to change the frequency as desired. So when the, uh, the timing capacitor is changing, the output will be high, but when it's discharging, it will be low. When you connect as shown, the duty cycle will be about 50%. So when the output at pin 3 is high, this will allow this MOSFET on the lower side to conduct. And this, if you look at it, it will allow current flow through the 12 volts rail, through this one half winding of the primary to ground. The second MOSFET is prevented from turning on by this not yet made of this transistor and these two resistors. So when the output in green goes low, the first MOSFET turns off and the second MOSFET turns on because of this not gate inverter. So the gate will be powered on and so this will allow current to flow through the other half winding. So this makes a push-pull inverter circuit and with the appropriate size of a transformer and MOSFETs which I recommend you use, you parallel three on each side, you can easily obtain more than 600 watts from it since the LFZ44 can handle 40 amperes, so if you parallel three, they can handle more than 100 amperes without a problem. The transformer, you can obtain one from a microwave or a welding transformer. It has a large enough core to handle more than 600 watts. You also need, at the second side, a high voltage non-price capacitor. This will basically act as a filter. It will filter the high frequency spikes, which can have cause problems to your devices. And, but it will allow the low frequency 50 hertz AC signal to pass through without a problem. So basically that's all about this inverter circuit. And ensure that the transformer has a transformation ratio of about 1 is to 20. If you want 12 to 220 volts output. Or 1 is to 10 if you want a 12 to 120 volts output on your secondary. Don't forget to like this video. Comment below. Share and subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects and tutorials. And I'll see you in the next episode.